So I started with priming the Dark Shroud with Army Painter Black, and I'm going to be giving it two base coats of Abaddon Black. This is going to be the first vehicle I do that I haven't used the primer paint spray cans with. And the one thing you have to remember is water down your paints because when it comes to models that have larger surface areas when you're painting a base coat you'll get more brush strokes if you don't have your, weight, your paint sufficiently watered down. And this is why I like using the primer base coat spray paints because you get a nice smooth base coat with no brush strokes and it looks really good. Now that the base coat's finished, I'm going to switch to Lead Belcher and do the rails on the bottom of the dark shroud. I'm just going to give it one coat. Now I'm going to move on to doing all the engines and turbines with Lead Belcher as well. When you're doing turbines on engines on a lot of the vehicles, I've noticed you're going to have to get two coats in that because your first coat doesn't always get everything, so the heads up there. And now I'm going to move on to picking up all the little small details in Ledge Belcher. So the front of that visor where those steel clamps are, the mouth guards for the space frame, the joint, uh, the, the elbow joints, uh, the bolter, stuff like that. So I'm going to be giving the whole model a wash of known oil. And you should really just focus on all the steel parts in this just because putting known oil on black doesn't fit. I'm going to be using Celestial Grey as a base before I use White Scar on the Raven Wing Emblems. And after that dries, I'm going to use Known Oil to get back into crevices where the Celestia kind of just piled in. Just because uh, when you're using White and the Celestia, they're very runny, and when you water them down, they're even more runny. So they like to muck up all the detail and using Nolan Oil uh, on it will get back in the crevices and bring back some detail. Now that the Nolan Oil is dry, I'm going to go around with a fine detail brush and highlight all the emblems and white scar. Now I'm going to be painting the statues on the front where the heavy bolt are and the thing that holds the icon of Caliban and Balthazar Gold. I'm going to use Caliban Green. And for the statue and the wall, they're good both going to be painted in Celestial Grey. I'm going to give the statue a wash in Old Oil, and all a wash in Agra. Now in this part, I'm going to be using a piston red and sand dust. Uh, red for the eyes on the Marines, and the wax seals on the purity seals, sanded to dust for the purity seals. Mm -hmm. 
wash time again. Lone oil on all the gold parts, Agrax Earthshade on the stone in the background where the idol is, and Lone oil on the statue. I'm going to use Gahanna's Gold to bring back some detail into the gold that we dulled down using the oil. Now for the glass, I'm going to use the Crag Blue, and then after that try, I'm going to go over it in a wash of Dragon Hot Nightshade. I'm going to finish the windows up by using light belcher on the cage. Now that the jink cage is finished, I'm going to finish the model off by edge highlighting ash and gray. Thanks for watching guys. If you like what you see, then please thumbs up and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter for updates that I'll be streaming every once in a while on Twitch. The information should be in the description below. I'll see you around.